is going on everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to another review my first anime review on top of that and it's my return to anime i haven't watched an anime in a long time uh, i think i've been kind of watching uh, the old shows on repeat kenjin or naruto or uh full metal alchemist brotherhood and you know the original just those on repeat if i need to watch like an anime i'm in the mood for something so you know finally this was getting the hype it was everywhere it's on netflix it was on that like top 10 thing it's popping up there it's popping everywhere so you know what i was like okay let might be good might be good if it's like around everywhere so let's get to this so you know what i'm happy that my return was this good uh is it perfect no i have a few nitpicks which i'll get to pretty soon but overall i think it's a great show uh now especially the thing that really 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 uh attracts to this show or you want to say that really keeps it together is actually that relationship that we're rooting for throughout a brother and a sister and the complications that they're both in he's something she is something now because of an event that happened at the start which surprisingly i was very very surprised by the way it started and how bloody it was and it was not afraid to show something and that's what i love about anime with good shows good anime shows they go all out they show you the stuff that needs to be shown because it's part of the story and it actually hits home so that opening uh, the whole first episode really 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 kicks you where it needs to so that you believe in this character that you really really are behind this character and i love the main character because he is not that person at least from what they're showing now but i guess there is something else going on here but from what we've seen he's this young kid and he has to go to go through these trials and learn a lot and that journey that he goes on in protecting the one family member you know that he really really loves it, it's amazing and then the other way around the sister as uh, she's progressing in her condition and she's uh, adapting and that relation between the two how it's evolving it's something very special and it kind of really holds the uh, the show together uh, the characters throughout you know obviously they're always the one that screams a lot and the one that you know stays calm and thinks and all and then there's a crazy one you'll see all those kind of characters here but they fit well with what they're doing uh, I also loved loved the elemental aspect of it uh, and i think it's not more physical but it's more passive where it's not something that they do but it's how they use those elemental how water moves or how fire moves or how ice moves and the art form actually changes when they're doing techniques uh they because it's about showing where they're coming from and what technique they're using so instead of like slow-mo or so the art form is more like cell shaded like and i loved that aspect that they went along those route to show that it's not a physical thing that they're doing but it's like a passive thing so the the difference in the art form sells that so overall the show is actually pretty excellent in terms of what it's able to do the story it's able to tell the two nitpicks that kind of bring it down for me uh now it's not a big big loss towards the score but it's something there now before i say what the first nitpick is think about it every good show or a great show naruto uh you've watched dragon ball you've watched kenshin you've watched full metal i mean those are the ones cowboy b pop or you know ghost in the shell geez anything you bring up uh the good ones they know that the characters have to look the part they never it never feels like where the faces are very similar or the design and designs are very similar to you know the other ones that they're using and it's just a variation of each other in this show at times it did feel like that certain characters the faces are just a variation of each other not really a unique uh character design to that character you know you you say naruto oh that's him you oh 
Sakura, oh yeah, that that's her. Uh, Goku, oh, no, that's him. Vegeta, that's him. You know, in that sense. So here, it just, at least to me, it felt like that the faces were similar and variation of each other. So maybe that's me. Maybe that's just the art design that they're going for. But I felt it, so I'm saying it. Now, the biggest nitpick I have is actually not with the episode itself and it what happens in it what happens in it is actually good but it's the last episode and i think it's the placement of the episode that just did not work for me the it's called as the title of the episode is a new mission i really think it should have been part of season two when season two comes out it should have been just part of that they should have ended the the episode before just end it there now the reason how being is that in that episode it just feels anti-climatic uh, because throughout the show, there's this bad guy that we're supposed to meet and so. Or we're, that's the guy we gotta be. That's the last boss. So by the time the la uh, you know the second last episode comes, you are in the know that, okay, that's not happening. So it should have just ended there where you're like, oh, we're gonna meet him next season and then, you know, the big fight will happen or so. We do see him like once or twice uh, in the show, one really, really, really good, intense moment that happens perfectly when our main character actually meets him for the first time, and it's a really well done scene. Uh, so the last episode, you you didn't need that because the last episode was more like happy, and then they're like, oh, everybody's like going through something, and they're in a way healing up and all. It takes away from all the intensity that you know the previous episode ended on. And I think the episode itself is fine. It's just it should have been placed as part of the second season's episode one rather than season one's last episode. It just takes away that punch. You know, that last episode punch where like, ooh, cliffhanger. You know, what's going to happen? Because even also in the first or the last episode, I'll, I think that is the first episode of season two, there's also a moment with the main bad guy that something's happening and you're like all of a sudden where this where is this coming from right so i really do wish it was part of season two as an episode one now with all that saying i still give this show a nine out of ten it is a great show if you're also someone who's on the verge of like oh what should i watch i don't want to come back to anime uh this is a show definitely worth watching and definitely your return to anime uh, would be in a good form and if you want to watch uh the next anime and if you watch something recently and you're just trying to find also a great show to go on to never did i feel that there was something filler or so from the start to the end it actually felt like a cohesive story never felt like there were just episodes in there just for filler so yeah that's my take on it what did you think about it? Have you watched it yet? Leave a comment below. Let me know. And out of that, I want to say thank you for watching this review. If you like this review and if you want to watch other ones, there's a lot more on the channel. Please go have a watch. And yeah, other than that, take it easy, take care, and I will catch you all later. Other than, ta-da, a cow.